MCU theory claims Venom 3 will finally set up a fight with Tom Holland's Spider-Man 1 Venom 3 theory suggests that the upcoming Sony sequel could finally answer some major Spider-Man questions and connect Venom to the MCU 1 convincing theory suggests that Sony's upcoming Venom 3 could establish connections to the MCU potentially by including Tom Holland's Peter Parker and answering major questions in Sony's Spider-Man universe. Prior to the release of 2018's Venom, Tom Hardy confirmed that he had signed on to portray Eddie Brock, the host of the alien symbiote Venom, in three projects, and Sony confirmed the development of Venom 3 in April 2022. SSU's Venom 3 is scheduled for release on November 8, 2024, and is expected to conclude the Venom trilogy, but could tell a very different story for the lethal protector. After Venom saw Eddie Brock battle Riz Ahmed's Carlton Drake and Riot, and Venom, Let There Be Carnage introduced Cletus Cassidy and Carnage, Brock found himself being thrust into the MCU with other Marvel villains from Sony's previous Spider-Man franchises. This established the clearest connection between Sony's Spider-Man universe and the MCU yet, and the impact of Eddie Brock's multiversal journey will surely be explored in Venom 3. According to one theory, via X, Venom the Third of may create even stronger bonds between the SSU and MCU, potentially even setting up a battle between Venom and Tom Holland's Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Venom 3 is the third and final installment in Sony's Symbiote trilogy starring Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock. It follows the events of Let There Be Carnage, where the anti-hero fought serial killer Cletus Cassidy, and Spider-Man, No Way Home, where Brock was briefly transported to the MCU through the multiverse. Marvel Studios' Spider-Man, No Way Home saw Peter Parker and Benedict Cumberbatch as Doctor Strange botch a spell to make the world forget Parker, inadvertently pulling villains who knew Spider-Man's real identity into the MCU from other universes. This included Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin, Alfred Molina's Doctor Octopus, Jamie Foxx's Electro, Reese Iphon's Lizard and Thomas Hayden Church's Sandman, who were all eventually sent home after being cured by Holland, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's Spider-Men. However, Tom Hardy's Venom was also pulled into the MCU, proven by No Way Home's mid credit scene, setting up an exciting story for Venom 3. One theory suggests that Venom 3 could see Eddie Brock being dragged between the two realities of the SSU and the MCU, perhaps because a piece of the Venom symbiote remained in the MCU at the end of Spider-Man, No Way Home. This could see Venom 3 bridging the gap between the two Marvel franchises, and could constitute an appearance by Tom Holland's Spider-Man, marking the wall crawler's debut in person in the SSU. In October 2021, Tom Holland revealed that he had been discussing Spider-Man's crossover into the SSU with producer Amy Pascal, which could occur in Venom 3. Eddie Brock's journey into the MCU was more confusing than the other Spider-Man-related villains, so Venom 3 could clear up these complexities. Doctor Strange's spell brought villains who knew Peter Parker was Spider-Man into the MCU, but there has been nothing to suggest that Venom knew Spider-Man's real identity, so it's unclear exactly why he was transported. The first time Venom learned of Peter Parker and Spider-Man was only after the journey to Earth-616, and this confusion was only continued in 2022's Morbius, after Michael Keaton's vulture was transported into the SSU, so Venom 3 needs to do some explaining Venom 3 can also answer how a piece of the Venom symbiote was able to remain in the MCU after Eddie Brock was sent back to the SSU, as surely the whole of the symbiote's being would have been sent back. If these questions are answered, it's very possible that a piece of Venom being stuck in the MCU could see Eddie Brock being pulled between realities, perhaps setting up yet another incursion for the MCU's Phase 6. This would create a clear connection between the two franchises, and finally set up the possible introduction of Spider-Man into the SSU. Tom Holland has previously confirmed that he's had discussions with Sony about his version of Peter Parker appearing in Sony's Spider-Man universe, so it's possible this could come to fruition in Venom 3. Currently, no version of Spider-Man has been seen in the SSU, though Peter Parker's birth was a plot point in 2024's Madam Web. This perhaps confirms that Peter Parker does exist in the SSU, though it's unclear if he is Spider-Man, as Madam Web takes place in 2003, but the wall crawler hasn't debuted. This creates the opportunity for Tom Holland's Parker to become the SSU's official Spider-Man. Venom is one of Spider-Man's most iconic villains in Marvel Comics, so it would be great to see Tom Holland's wall crawler battle the symbiote in Venom 3. Whether this takes place in the MCU's world or that of the SSU, however, is yet to be determined. It's unclear just how connected to the MCU Venom 3 will be, as Marvel Studios may be more inclined to distance itself after Morbius and Madam Web's failures. Nevertheless, it's high time for Sony to introduce Spider-Man into their franchise, and Tom Holland's appearance in Venom 3 could be the perfect route to take. If you are new to our channel then, like and subscribe.